Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Trillium Tarot. This is Stephanie, and you are going to have to bear with me on my pronunciations as I do this video. Uh, my brain wants me to call this the Ogum Oracle, but I believe the actual pronunciation is Oyam or something along those lines. So please, you know, give me some grace when it comes to pronouncing this, this particular deck. Now for my kind of backdrop or item of interest here, I thought it was appropriate since this Oyam article has to do with uh, the language of the trees. I have a ball here and I don't remember what the wood is, but the, the carving on this ball is uh, actually designed after the six walled labyrinth at uh, Tintajo, if I, if I even pronounced that correctly. I have a few items uh, by this shop, and I really like these labyrinth items because they're really good. You know, if, if you're anxious or something, you can just kind of trace the, the walls of the labyrinth, um, either on this ball or I have a little, um, little slice of wood that has the labyrinth on it where you can just kind of drag the head of a pin through Obviously on that, it's a flat labyrinth, but I just thought this wood item would be fascinating and perfect to have as the backdrop or item, item of interest for this specific type of Oracle deck. Now, the whole concept of Oyam, it is an ancient uh, tree wisdom, meaning symbols of the trees, um, what they mean, uh, what what they feel. The Druids worked a lot with uh, Oyam articles, or Oyam oracles, articles. Good Lord. Mercury, can you please get your poop in a group? I'm having a hard time with this. All right. So, uh, you get this initial card with the explanation. Now, the back of the card is just simply the same as the cover of that little folder that I showed you uh, when, when we opened up the video. So then we go through the, the sacred woods, or the woods that are a part of the oracle. So the, there's a listing of what we know it as, uh, the letter, and what it was called back in the day, as well as a description of the meaning of the card. And I must admit that I have not personally spent a lot of time with this specific deck. Um, to So I can't give you tips and insights into how to actually use this uh, as a part of your practice. But, yeah, there we go. Get my overlay up there. But I, there's definitely something to this. Trees are ancient. Tree wisdom is ancient. The world is ancient. Uh, we have Rowan, or we started off with Birch, and then we go to Rowan, Alder, Witch Hazel, Groves, Spindle Tree, Apple, Vine, Ivy, I will tell you that uh, some of the names of the cards in this deck are different from other versions of the Oyam Oracle that I have seen. So it's possible that some are, I don't know, from different regions, or maybe some are more Druid specific, whereas the others were more, I don't want to say common people, but that's the only term that's coming to mind. So uh, this is really interesting to me. Here we have Reed and Blackthorn, Elder, Fur, Fur doesn't want to behave for the camera. Uh, we have Gorse, Heather, Poplar or Aspen, You, which was the the world tree that uh, Odin hung, hung on upside down was the yew tree. Uh, honeysuckle. Pine. Willow. Ash. Hawthorn. Oak. Holly. And hazel. And that does bring me to the end of the cards, but I hope that this 
gave you a good walkthrough of the deck itself and kind of kind of inspired you to look into this um, somewhat lesser known form of divination. This is much more ancient than um, what we are accustomed to today uh, with our 1909 tarot card images and so on. This goes way back, um, even before written language or before letters. All of these symbols on these cards were, for all intents and purposes, their version of letters. So uh, the study of Ogham or Oyam, it really is fascinating. I am going to spend more time on that myself, but I hope this gave you a thirst to do some research of your own and uh, expand your knowledge as well. Just as a quick reminder as we wrap up, please do give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because it truly does help as I'm putting these videos out there. It helps with search functionality and, and many other things. So that, that would be doing me a huge favor. Thank you so much for watching this video and I look forward to the next one.